What's up YouTube, Blood Rampage here, bringing you another Reviews with Rampage. This game is called Deformers. Uh, if you are interested, I think I'm actually going to be nice to everyone and post a link to the website and give you the promotion code. That way you don't have to waste the $30 on this game, you can actually get it for free. So, maybe more people will be interested in playing it since it will be free. But, with that being said, um, this game, like I said, is called Deformers. In a sense, it's almost like it took the Rocket League style gameplay and then added a few more things to it. I'll go to the workshop and show all the stuff that you can unlock for you. These are your blobs. You can customize them with things like this little hamster, armadillo, um, I can't even, I think it's angelfish, right? Right, people? <laughs> uh, a stack of pancakes, or flapjacks, it depends on what you want to call them. God knows what that is. That's some mutated caterpillar pig something. I don't even know what to call that. A thing of grapes. Okay. An actual pig. Uh, judging by the spots, I think a cheetah? Some weird beak style thing? No idea. A watermelon. Okay. A spaghetti and meatball. Okay. A random bundle of strings. Like one of those little stress ball thingies. An elephant. A chicken. A cow. Whatever in the world that is. A shark. Goldfish. Bear. A duck. God knows. God knows. God knows. God knows. And I continue. Okay, there we go. One for me, since I'm a fat guy. Cheeseburger and a cupcake. Don't quite know what that is, or that. A strawberry, some corn. Definitely got a lot of interesting things on here. Now, you unlock these by earning tokens, which you can buy, you know, yay microtransactions. You got little hats and stuff you can get for your characters as well. Glasses, backpacks, other accessories. Apparently they can make different sounds. I guess these are uh, emotes that you could do in game. You could tag things on the ground and then here's your conversion from coins or those tokens to coins and whatnot. But you could change any of that if you want to. Actually I'm going to throw on the armadillo. Okay, we'll leave this. They have been having a few server issues. I'm just going to stick with a custom game just to show some of the stuff. Okay, this is form ball. This this would be your um your Rocket League style game. So I'll show you what this looks like. Armadillo. They have a Guardian class, Striker class, Ranger class, Marksman class, and Speedster class. Alright. This is how you load into the game. This is the whole arena. Now, the way you do this is... You can do a little boost, like that. You can charge it up and stuff with R2. There's also, depending on what... Oh, there we go, okay. 
R1 and okay I'm not quite sure what that does but R1 allows you to shoot you get like these little gold nuggets and you shoot them at the enemies or you just simply charge attack them like that so you could still it's almost the same style as Rocket League you see you hit it in the goal shows your score you earn points for it and then it resets the game well not fully just resets the ball drop but it's it's pretty much the same thing as Rocket League just with animals instead of cars which I still think Rocket League's more fun I'm gonna do another custom game I'll show what the team deathmatch looks like Now these dummies won't do anything. I'm just putting them in there so I can try to do it and see how different it is compared to uh, compared to the form ball. I couldn't think of my words there for some reason. All right. Uh, Let's be a guardian, see what that has to do with anything. Alright. So there's little power-ups, it looks like. So, essentially, it's the same style. There's... Okay, that's what L1 does. You get to pick up uh, boxes and crates and stuff, and you could actually throw them at the other people. Which is interesting, because I didn't know that until now. Hmm. So yeah, you just go around throwing these, or you could go around shooting them with the uh, gun that they, well, I guess you could call it a gun that's equipped on you. These presents, I believe, just give you a crap ton of the gold bricks, whatever this is. I'm very interested. They look like bombs? No idea. So you can push them off all the sides and everything. You can even pick up your opponents, chuck them off the edge. It's definitely a pretty interesting game. Uh, if you guys actually do want to check it out, like I said, I am going to put it in, um, put it in the description of the website that you could go on to, and um, you could actually get it for free. That's just part of being a GameStop employee. You get these codes. You're not supposed to tell anyone, but we just don't care. So I will have that in there. Just, if you want it free, you got to have a Power Up Rewards uh, account with GameStop. And you can get two codes per email address you have linked with a Power Up Rewards. So for overall for this game, I'll give it about maybe a 6 or a 7. It is kind of fun to play. they got quite a bit of stuff in it. Big thing is, I it's definitely not going to be Rocket League. Rocket League's still fun to this day, and probably one of the best free games we got on PlayStation. Uh, it's definitely worth at least just checking this out if you do get it for free. Just something to have, and I mean, it is a thirty-dollar game for free. Actually, if you don't, or if you're not able to get it free, you could buy it for like fifteen bucks at GameStop because it got delayed like three times in a row. So, they cut the prices in half for uh, Power Up Rewards Pro members. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, my next one, I hope I'll get out sometime, will be Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. I picked that up because it definitely looks interesting, and I did play the past two installments. So, hopefully I'll have that out soon. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Until next time.